Hello, Paige from Performance Roofing. This is Joel from JND SEO. I spoke quickly on the phone today. I told you I'd send you this video over. So I'm going to show you three ways that you can beat your competition online. And I don't want to waste your time, Paige. I don't want to waste mine. So I'm going to make this as quick as possible. If at the end of the video you want to hear more information, let's set up a 10-minute phone call. If not, no problem. Take the free tips and strategies that I'm going to give you today. And you guys could actually apply them right to your site. First thing I want to talk about today is just content. So I'm on your homepage and I'm just kind of scrolling through. And I'm just trying to see how many words of content you have roughly on your page. What I'm really looking for is a pretty big number. I'm looking for about 1,500. The reason that I want so much is that that's how much Google really wants. And the more, if you have that amount, then they're going to rank you much higher than your competition just on that alone. And what we find honestly is that 99.9% .9 of businesses do not have that much content. But the bigger reason that you really want that much content is that the more content you have on your page, the more keywords and keyword phrases you can put into that content. I've put in roofing Orlando FL for Florida here, just as an example. This is a really good term and it's one that a lot of new customers would put in if they're looking for a roofing services. First thing you're gonna find on any Google search is ads at the top of the screen. People are essentially paying to be seen first for any new customers hoping to land those clients. After that, we're going to get to the map section. Top three companies are going to show up here based on citations. And those are just when you get your business name, address, and phone number listed into a directory site such as Yelp, Yellow Pages, Home Advisor. And we're going to see some of those sprinkled in here. This is the organic section where we start to see companies' names show up with websites. And these aren't random, they're all based on Google's algorithm. And there's 10 results that show up per page. And so I want to just quickly rank this keyword, right? Roofing Orlando FL. If we were ranking this keyword, because these show up in relation to that, number one would go to Roofing Advantage, two would go to Better Business Bureau, and three would go to Home Advisor. These two are both directories. Could go on, but I actually want to just jump over here to Arif's. This is what's going to show me kind of what's going on with your site. All right, so I've taken your website, performanceroofingusa.com, and I've plugged it into Arif's. And the first thing I do notice is that you guys do have some headers here, which is really good. You have a few key terms in there as well as your business name, which is really good because that's going to help you get found in Google searches. If you think of the internet as just kind of a popularity contest, whoever has the most votes is going to get the most attention. In the world of websites, we're really talking about visitors and views. So I can see right now that you guys have 65 referring domains. These are just websites that basically have links on them, and those links go to your page. When people click them, it will send them directly to your page. So the 65 um, websites or domains that you guys have links on are sending you back 453 links to your page. You guys are showing up for 160, 16 keywords. These are what really help you get found in Google searches. It's just like what I put in when I put in Roofing Orlando FL, and we'll look at those in a second. Those 116 keywords are driving 14 visitors to your site per month. I know what you're thinking, 14 is not a very big number, especially for a month. Well then, let's take a look at the keywords and let's try to figure out why that is. First thing we do see is your business name, Performance Roofing. And we can see that 300 people do search Performance Roofing every single month. And you guys are in the ninth position for that one. So you are in the on the first page. Remember, we said 10 results per page. So that's going to put you on the first page, but it is going to put you towards the bottom of the first page. Um, and the reason people search you by name is that they know who you are, right? It's going to be some of your repeat customers and referrals. Also going to be people who probably saw your name on a sign or a truck. Maybe they couldn't write it down. They were driving, so they have to look you guys up. So you want to have these types of, um, you know, keywords that are going to bring you customers you should be getting anyway. But you also do want to bring in new customers, such as this one. Um, Oviedo Roofing, right? A location that you guys are right around there. 30 people do search it. You guys are number 11. What that means is that's going to put you at the top of the second page for that one. Unfortunately, what we do know is that 80 to 85 percent of people will not go to page two. So if you think about that, how often do you when you do a Google search, right? So that's going to mean that you're not going to be really getting much traffic from that. Um, but let's grab another one here. Roofing Orlando. That's a really good one. All right, so what I want to do next is I'm just going to quickly show you a comparison. So let's go to Advantage Roofing, Inc. And they're one of the top results for the area. So let's see what they're kind of doing on here. 
They do have their business name with a keyword as well. Uh, 135 referring domains, sending them back over 2,500 links to their page. 305 keywords they can be found in searches for. And that's driving 1,200 people to their site per month. Let's take a quick look at their keywords. First thing we see is Roofing Orlando. That's an excellent key term for bringing in new customers. 150 people do search that every single month, and we can see that they are in the first position for that one, so that's really good. Um, let's see, Roofing Repair Orlando, another excellent term. 250 people do search that just like that, and they are in the fifth position for that one, so that's another really good one in the top five. And just kind of scrolling through roofers near me, that's actually a national term, so even though it's huge volume, it's not necessarily worth getting, but they're 17 for that one, so they're really not going to be getting anyway towards the bottom of the second page. So what we really want to see is everything in the top 10 here, right? And we're seeing almost everything is except for that one, but it's not really a good term anyway. So we, what we can kind of surmise here is that they're getting a lot of their traffic by just ranking higher for those keywords. You guys did have a couple really good keywords. The problem is that you're just ranked uh, further back on the second and third page for those. So you're just not quite getting the results that you should be getting. So that was just a little bit about content backlink citations. If you guys want to hear some more information, let's set up a 10 minute phone call. And if not, like I told you at the beginning, guys, take the free tips, go ahead and apply them. You'll see a difference on your site. And you know, let me know how they, how they go actually as well. And the only thing I do ask is I'm just going to give you a phone call and ask you what you thought of the video. I'm just looking for a little feedback to improve my own videos as well. Thank you guys for your time. I really appreciate it. And you guys have an excellent day.